Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and yes, my babies, you get two today. Um, we won't get any tomorrow because we're doing a live, so don't forget, be there. It's going to be important. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a different reading. So I have to keep looking over here to remind myself of the question. All right, number one, action needed to ease the transition you're going through right now. What that might be, let's see, make sure my, yeah, it's all the way up. Home. Something about your home. What you will now? What is the support that you have? Patience. Three of Wands. What do you stand to gain from this situation? me to take them. The truth, judgment, and apology. Empress energy. Empress. Oh, there's another one back there. High Priestess. Wow, Scorpio. Standing in your truth and cutting bitches. Making the right judgment calls. And new love. Damn. Like this reading. What do you have to let go of in order for this to happen? What do you have to let go of in order for this to happen? Possibly a Virgo or a Gemini. Got Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, and now we have Gemini and Virgo energy. It's something you really don't want to let go of. The lovers, the nine of swords. It's something that keeps you up at night. It was fate and you got played. This is what you have to let go of in order for this, what you have to gain to come out of it. And what is the divine guidance? That you need for this situation. Fairness. Giving and receiving. And I'm feeling like it's more being fair to yourself. Yeah. It's healing your heart. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, Healing, the King of Cups. Spirit says take your time. You will find what you seek. Because what you are seeking is seeking you too. So, wow, great, great reading. Let's get a little more information. 
What is this action in the home? What is that that needs to take place? Feeling like somebody needs to leave. Yeah. Message coming in. I've got the Knight of Wands upright. I've got the Hangman upright, the Ten of Swords upright, and the Magician. Somebody played a mean trick on you. And the action you need to do is become the magician. From pain and chaos comes a new beginning. This is affecting your stability. You need not allow it to affect your stability. So the action you need to take may be a hard one. Because you know how much you love com confrontation. Three on three, three of pentacles, working together patiently to try to resolve this matter. This is your support. So maybe you have a little bit of outside support to help give you the patience that you need in order to grow again and not fight anymore. Somebody is very, very selfish here. They want what they want and they don't care what they gotta do to get it. But you're not gonna fight over it anymore. You're gonna have patience and I do believe you have some kind of outside help Possibly a family member or a friend. Somebody to help you out of this situation where somebody is being very, very selfish. In this, what have you got to gain? What is this high priestess, empress, queen of swords, judgment, and the page of cups about spirit? This cycle is closed. No more offers. Now I have Sagittarius here, the world card in reverse. I feel like you, you walked away, but they didn't. They're going to come back and apologize, but they're still a liar and they're still unbalanced. And I think it's a test. Can't keep their money together, but they can't walk away from you for some reason. But you, as far as you're concerned, this cycle is closed with this manipulating liar who is very, very unbalanced. Could be a Sagittarius. You graduated because of this person who didn't make the offer they should have made. And for that, you are going to be greatly rewarded. What's the next one? Oh yeah, what have you got to let go of? You got to let go of them. They played you. They betrayed you. And you have to let go of that energy. You have to cut them cords to this person. You might even have to let go of some money that you worked for, but, um, and they didn't work for. But I'm seeing you moving away from it 
and it hurts like hell. But you're cutting a bitch. You're taking your money and whatever you've got left of your sanity and you are moving on. Beautiful. From this Queen of Wands in reverse, which could be Sagittarius. Somebody who's lazy and doesn't want to help themselves. They want you to do the work for them. Maybe you found this out a little bit too late. And you just don't want to fight about it. You just want them gone. This could be family, friends, work situation. It could be anything. In the divine guidance, I see you healing, being fair to yourself, keeping your guard up against love right now. But see, that's going to be very, very difficult for you to do in the month of October, Scorpio. And I'll explain to you why. Uh, on the live tomorrow night because it is definitely you are involved in all of it and all of it and everything that's happening for the good or for the bad I mean that's going to be entirely up to you you're waiting for your destiny to show up it's been exposed to you you know what's coming justice for the person that lied to you. You know what's coming. The moon is in reverse. We have the wheel of fortune, destiny, three of cups, celebration in this case, the knight of swords in reverse, which means you stopped the moon in reverse, which means that secrets have been let out and you know that is your justice. And this was in reverse. So nobody can lie to you anymore. No, actually that was upright, my bad. Yeah, your justice over a liar. I mean, it could be more than one liar. There could be like three or four here. I feel like there's at least three. Three, three. At least three people that have lied to you about something. Something important that has to do with your stability. What is this Ten of Swords about, Spirit? Somebody stuck a knife in your wish. Or at least they tried to. I think they tried to manifest an ending for you. And it was this page of pentacles that you cut off. A player. When will they ever learn? It is this page of pentacles that you cut off that tried to destroy your dream. Whatever that may be. or I, Sometimes I don't even know what I say. Okay, who's the support that they have? Who is the support that they have? It's secret support. Somebody's definitely packing up and leaving here. Somebody's holding something quite close to their chest. And they sneaking out the back door and taking control of their own life. Justice. Justice of a, from a liar. I mean, justice getting away from a liar. This Page of Pentacles has been playing with you for a long time. It's time to go. It's time to put it to an end. And that is your justice. My guess is that 
you should and I'm not going to say this in a mean way because I know cross watchers are watching but I, I think you should tell them that you might be getting married or something like that I, I mean you might even be because I do see a very strong masculine energy here and a strong feminine energy but you have to let go of the pain the pain feeling stuck walking away from feeling stuck and fighting and the pain that this person caused you easier said than done I understand trust me what is this world in reverse and this all of these cards in reverse as something to gain from this situation it's karmic completion serious karmic completion but see I see somebody new Scorpio I see somebody new here I don't think this is your wish really um, there's a lot of healing going on here but I feel like you very quickly broke this person just like they broke you by choosing to grow on your own by choosing something else something much more fulfilling aces or ace Three of Swords. That's three, three, three. Today's the third. Hmm. Synchronicities. Judgment. Seven of Pentacles. Looking back on what you have created by juggling your pentacles and healing anything that stands in your way. Blowing up, showing up. You could even be getting famous or something. Who knows? Or you're dealing with somebody who might be famous. I don't got the six of wands here, but I'm feeling famous in this reading. I don't know why. It's going to be a difficult thing to walk away from. I know that much. But you know they're a liar. How can you keep holding on to the lie? I tell you guys all the time, lie, truth. You've got a choice. You always have a choice. What is this secret that came out that was kept hidden from Scorpio? What is this secret? Five of Wands. You had competition for the stick. For your stick or for their stick. And you found out about it. You know. I mean, without a doubt. The spiritual advice here is let it happen. There is a new energy coming into your space. And it is going to rock and roll your world. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ace of Wands, my phallic symbol, the shtick, Scorpio, the tower. You knew it. You could feel this coming. I think you're feeling it now if it hasn't arrived yet 
I have Pisces and Scorpio here. I've got Aquarius. I've got Libra. I've got Aries. I've got I've got a lot of signs. I have a lot of major arcanas here. Cancer. Sagittarius. I feel like maybe there's even more than one person coming back because because you you so hot you so hot and I think your sexual energy is off the charts this month so please do keep that in mind to separate that from love okay. I mean, there's having a good time and there's love, but you, there, there's something you're letting go of here that is going to allow you a fresh new start and a choice, a choice of what you want. But at this present time, I don't think you really know what you want. Whoever is supporting you has ulterior motives. Just know that. I don't know who's, who you got helping you, but they have an ulterior motive. They, they, they want to take something from you. I don't know what that is. But I'm feeling children. Because we got a baby daddy here and a baby mama. Yeah. I think that came in that came out in somebody else's reading too. It's like they think that they can use the children to keep you from having this brand new beginning. But it's something you're going to have to let go of, Scorpio. Unfortunately, in order for you to advance in your life and in this in this reality, it's one of those let go and let God kind of things. So you can have this shocking new beginning that's about to happen for you that you already know is coming. I mean, you, your third eye is alive and awake and seeing the truth. So you know what's coming towards you. Wow. Like it, you guys can't stop working. You gotta stop working for a minute. And you might be the wealthy person here. I don't know, but there is somebody in despair. I feel like coming to you to ask you for something. But there's already somebody else on board, and things have changed. Even maybe even legally, because. <clears throat> Whether you're this wealthy man or this wealthy man is approaching you, someone is in despair. They're about to offer you a gift or you them a gift. Take it as it resonates. This main male. change legally so what I'm feeling here is that maybe somebody helps somebody out by giving them a job that's all I can see here maybe even though there's pain and regret and sadness here. I feel like somebody has used it to level up. And they're past this. They're past the, the pain. Now they're going into pure empress, high priestess, emperor energy. And they're willing to lend a hand to the one that betrayed them. They're seeing a change in them. 
but I think it's too late for that relationship to happen because there's already somebody else here. And I think it's about to become legit. Uh, so that means that whoever this person was, they waited far too long. Now you're involved in, in another relationship. One that you're even discussing marriage about. If this is you. If not, you're legally separated forever. I'm just saying. You know, you might even have a restraining order against somebody if they're coming around and you don't want them to. Let's see what we get in the hidden realms. The River Queen. Well, I tell you guys about the flow here. We got a transformation happening in your eighth house. You need your intuition and you need to have patience. And with the river queen in reverse, that's not letting go of something. We'll read it. Page 100. Okay. Okay. So this came in reverse, so it's a challenger. It says, Turbulent waters and rapids to cross are directly ahead of you. You have no... <clears throat> you have no boat... To navigate now. It's just you in the water going where it takes you. That said, through the River Queen in your challenge here, she has no intention of letting you go under, even when there's a waterfall ahead. There is no reason to fear. The River Queen will help you over, over it so you can splash down again in the gentle warm waters of the river below, flowing with the renewed purpose and the night and sorry guys, flowing with renewed purpose to the sea. Sorry. Be fearless now and go with the current of the event. This can be an adventure. It is all a matter of perception. It really is. It's all a matter of perception. This can be an adventure, or it can be a, you know, you can ebb and flow, you can resist, or you can make it an adventure. That's entirely up to you. Let's go through the signs and see what each one's got to say from the shadows. We have Aries first. I know you're watching me. I got that before for Aries. Why would I be watching you? Taurus, I lied to you. What's new? Gemini, I know I made a mistake. Gemini's over here. It's too late. Cancer, I am different now. Uh, Leo, I need to focus on my healing. Absolutely. Virgo, I don't need your approval. Libra, I took the easy way out. Scorpio, leaving you hurt me too. Sagittarius, I don't know what to say. Just keep being pretty. 
Capricorn. Sometimes I hear voices. Aquarius. I pretend that I don't care. I know. Pisces. Ooh. Yeah, bud. I ain't you and Pisces gonna be getting getting to the nitty gritty this <laughs> this month. I don't know who you are, but there's an awful lot of positive movement towards Pisces in this in this reading. You to everyone else. We are not right for each other. So I think you've just realized that about quite a few people, Scorpio, not just not just this past person that put you in pain, but quite a few people I think you've realized are not right for you and not right. You need to ebb and flow right now. You need to look, see, see where the current takes you. And trust me, it's got you on a trajectory that's looking really, I'm saying, you know, I'm just saying. It's looking pretty sexy to me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed that reading. Please remember to press that like button, subscribe and share, and I will see you guys tomorrow night at the live stream at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mwah. Love you guys.